Hello, welcome to Hevlender Design. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to export your CorelDRAW design to a JPEG format so you can be able to show this to your clients, considering the fact that your clients uh, cannot view a CorelDRAW file format. Uh, so JPEG is the picture format of your design. So without any further delay, let's uh, go into the video. If you're new to this channel consider subscribing give this video a thumbs up all right so this is our design design that, I, that i'm true with okay i have uh, the social media size 1080 pixel by 1080 pixel that's a square you can fit into any social media size and i'll also resize it for 1920 by 1080 pixel which can be used for um, your screen, your 9 by 16 screen size. Okay, so now to export, you have to select the design. Okay, so since I have two different sizes here, I'll just select. So to select uh, with your pick tool, you click, left click and drag. You can see this matching and create a marquee selection. When you leave it, you see all is selected. Okay, so you can actually group to make sure you have everything together. Now on the file menu, you have the export on the file menu. You have the export so we click on export and you have this export dialog box come up so the first thing we are going to look at consider is the file name all right so you choose a file name so i name my file based on my design uh, it helped me to to actually know what file so i don't start looking for them so i think it's advisable you name your file so whatever works for you anyway for me i name my file with the the main subject of my design so i'm doing 360 parenting then the next thing you are going to consider is the saver style down here we have the saver style so this saver style you can choose the file format from Corel Draw. You can save to different formats, several file formats. Okay, you can save to several file formats. Here we have um, quite a number of them. So if yours is not on the JPEG, as you can see here, I use this most often. That is why it's here. So if you cannot find it, just press the letter J on your keyboard okay so now take note that when you press the letter j you will see the jp2 which says uh jpeg 2000 bitmap that's not the one you're going to use you're going to use the jpg this jpeg bitmap okay that's the one you're actually going supposed to use uh other things that you can decide to put up uh the date taken okay so you can decide to put a, a particular date for the file that you are exporting you can choose any date here so i'll just leave it at the correct time and date on my system right now uh, you can add tags to your design you can as well rate your design okay you can rate your design so i'll give my five star now because i have two different um design on my system so i have to choose selected only selected only but if if the if i just had just one design on my page it wouldn't have been a challenge you can actually uh, whether you check this box or not it would be a challenge but when you have several items or several objects on your page you have to set, use check the selected only to make sure that you're exporting only what you have selected okay so when you are done with that the next thing you're going to choose is where you want this file to export to so you don't start looking for it so at at uh, uh by the left here you have the folder the file organizer okay so you have your desktop you have the download, you have document, you have picture. So you can actually decide where you want to save your file. It is very important so you don't start looking for it after you're done exporting. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm actually going to 
save on my desktop uh, I don't usually do that okay you can actually choose to create a folder usually let me just show you I have a folder in my document I save categorize them by year so I don't miss any file that I'm looking for okay so you can see I have file folders the folders are named okay but for just for this tutorial I'm just going to put it on the desktop so we have our file name we have our file format selected you just click on what export all right so we have one more dialog box to do with so you're saying exporting to jpeg all right so now you have those these settings they are very important you don't need to tamper with them so if you want a high quality you can choose a high quality uh, if you want a lower quality but uh, let me keep it at the original okay so but I think I like the high quality so let's use the highest quality so highest quality here you have this then the settings the color mode always use RGB because your screens are calibrated in RGB colors so when they are viewing them on the screen they will be friendly okay then um, the next thing you're going to do this the sub format you're going to use the standard all right uh advanced you're just going to check until this you need you need to do this when you do this the the edges of your design is not going to be uh, blurred you're not going to be seeing the pixel so use the embedded color profile all right so for transform sometimes you see you will not see this if you open this you have transform you can see what unit of measurement the sizes then you check maintain aspect ratio so that's just it and you click okay now good to go so we have exported our design the shortcut for that is control e okay and on the on the property bar on this status bar here the property bar you also have the exports so the shortcut is control e so whichever one you want to use you can make use of that to your export so i hope this uh, makes a lot of sense for you if you have any question uh, drop it in the comment section below that will attend to it if you're new to this channel consider subscribing turn on the notification so you'll be the first to be notified when we drop tutorials like this so let's go to our desktop where we save the file so we can see what it looks like okay so this is a desktop all right so this is my desktop so that is my file so see the our selections you can see the time uh, we exported this is rated five star and this is the file size okay you can actually double click to open and preview it to see that everything is all good and fine so thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video